Do you want the perfect IDE? The most beautiful and functional environment to do your programming and coding in? Well, I have good news for you. Today, I'm going to share my very secret recipe of themes and extensions to make your IDE perfect. This is what the perfect editor looks like. As you can see, there are a number of tools to help me program, to give suggestions, to let me know that there's if and when there's errors, which is never because my IDE is so perfect. And it looks amazing. It even throws some flames while I type to let me know that my code is fire. Let's see what it takes to make your IDE look and work as amazing as this. I use VS Code, but if you use a different text editor or IDE, most of these extensions are available on other ones as well. And if they don't, a lot of them have counterparts that you can get to work in place of the ones that I use when I'm using VS Code. There will be a link for all of these extensions in the description of this video. So if you want to get them directly from the, a link rather than searching for them in your IDE, you can do that. The first extension we're going to look at is tab nine, which is also the sponsor of today's video. Tab nine is an AI powered code completion tool. As you can see here, it recommends code as I'm typing. It's trained on reputable open source code and uses deep learning to get familiar with my project as I work so it can recommend the right code and the right variable names. It's free and works across many IDEs, including VS Code, IntelliJ, Atom, Sublime, Emacs, and Vim. It also works for most modern programming languages. You can change your settings between inline and dropdown or full line and partial depending what you prefer. As we all know, the hardest three things of programming are naming and off by one errors. Okay, I butchered this joke. It should be the three hardest parts of programming are naming and off by one errors. But maybe the hardest part of programming is trying to make jokes about programming. Luckily, tab nine uses GPT-2 natural language processing, so it can help naming functions and even variables. You can get tab nine by hitting control B to open your extensions tab in VS Code or whatever it is to find extensions in your IDE, then search for tab nine, click install. And if you like, you can sign up for the free membership or you can get the pro license from there. The next extension is something called error lens, which helps identify any errors in your code. It only shows you suggestions for the line that you're on. And as I'm typing, it is a little bit, uh, it's a lot of, basically it's a lot of information because it's giving you feedback live. But if that's a lot, I believe that you can turn it down and just show any suggestions or errors when you click on a line. Error lens is by Alexander. I am a game developer and I primarily use Unity, Game Engine, and sometimes Core. So my main languages are C Sharp and Lua. So I do have some extensions that are based on those. It might not be useful to people who aren't using those languages, but I will let you know what they are. There's also Unity ones. So if you're not using Unity, might not be helpful, but I'll let people know who might be interested in that. First one is debugger for unity very helpful um, helps me debug unity as it suggests this is from unity technologies i also have unity tools by tobias zarles this is more suggestions based on unity's uh, features i also use core lua api which is directly from manticore games this helps me when i'm using lua and i'm definitely less familiar with that than c sharp so it's really helpful to have some suggestions pop up as i'm working in lua i also have a lua language server coded by lua this is from Sumneco, and that's another um that's another extension that helps with the lua programming the last one is c sharp directly from microsoft this helps with more suggestions and recommendations while i'm using c sharp the theme I'm using is called Synthwave. It is by Rob Owen and it is beautiful. I have it set up to use the glow, which the instructions are in the information of the theme. Thank you to Rob Owen. I love this theme. I've been using it for ages and it looks so pretty as I code. The next extension I'm using to make my code look so beautiful is something called Vibrancy which allows the window of my text editor or VS code in this case to become transparent. 
So some people, this is not for you, but for me, I absolutely love it. I do need to make sure that my code is over top of a dark background, but for me, it's worth it because it just looks so pretty as I'm working and it makes me really happy. Okay. Okay. I should also mention that you can adjust the opacity level of this. So if you don't want to be as hardcore as me with how awesome your text looks, that's fine. You can have it more opaque if that's what you want to do. So that's it from my list of extensions and themes in VS Code, which make my coding experience absolutely perfect. If there's anything that you think deserves to be on this list, I'd love to hear it in the comments. If you have experience using any of these themes, I'd also love to hear about that. So that is the full list of extensions and themes that make my coding experience absolutely perfect and productive. I'd like to give a big thank you to tab nine for sponsoring this video. It is an extension I love using, so I'm very excited to work with them. If you want to know more about tab nine or give it a try, click on